What's up guys, Ace here, bringing you another card of the day. Today we have Magmatic Channeler, one in a red creature human wizard. As long as there are four more instants and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, Magmatic Channeler gets th plus three, plus one. Tap and discard a card, exile the top two cards of your library, then choose one of them. You may play that card this turn. One, three. I really like this card. I think this card was one of those nice candidates that herald to be the red sort of Dark Confidant slash Stoneforge Mystic slash Snapcaster Mage. Um, it's sort of like that in that it does seem to be pretty good and it's generally generically pretty good uh, in that it does a lot of stuff for you. It sort of has this weird card selection thing we're going for it where you can sort of filter the top two cards of your library. Um, you can like discard a land, get one of those top two cards of your library, which hopefully if you have a good consistency in your deck or the RNG gods allow it, is going to be something more useful than that land you discarded or whatever you might have this deck in. Um, when you do, you do this too many times say you have a sort of instant sort of sorcery spells matter sort of deck and you have enough of these in your graveyard this card suddenly becomes slightly larger and that's where i think this card becomes a little stronger where it seems like a pretty good main mid-range deck being the jack of all trades and master of none you can do a lot with this you don't have to have an instant or sorcery spells matters deck but if you do it gets bigger if you don't it becomes like a nice little card selection engine also it comes pretty good against aggro if you have more instances of sorceries, saying you're playing like a mono red control deck, this becomes somewhat of a finisher, to be honest. Two mana for a 4 4, and you're having a lot of sorceries instances in your graveyard. That's pretty decent. Um, I think this card in standard has been pretty decent for me. Although, there are not too many decks that want to play this sort of a card, simply because the environment currently is a lot of mill centered stuff. And you, if you're putting a lot of that in your graveyard, this could work. It's just, it seems to be relatively slow to strategy from what we have going on compared to it. Uh, I think I've played it once in like a blue red sort of aggro deck, aggro wizards deck, which hasn't been too good for me, but there's been a few times where it's been pretty good. This does fight against mono red aggro pretty well, and that it blocks a lot while also standing alive to a lot of the um, warriors that they have, where, which die and dual ping to stuff because it has a three butt. So it's pretty good in there. I think it would be pretty decent in modern as well, just because it's sort of these, this sort of master of um, none and jack of all. So it can pretty much fit in a lot of sh shells, I think so. It might even be able to fit in an aggro deck, I don't, although maybe this is a little too slow. It's 2 mana for a 4-4, four, four, and it requires you to put 4 instances in your graveyard. So in an ideal world, say you have 2 mana on your opening hand, that's two, 2 cards, and then you have one more card, which is this, Mag Magmatic Channeler, and then you have 4 other instances or sorceries in your hand. That's a, that's a full grip, right? You play this, then you zap someone, right? You, you bolt someone. Then you play this... Well, you play the land, you bolt, you play another land, you play this, then maybe you have another land, you draw another land, and then bam, you can bolt, bolt again, and that's three in your yard. So this is still one three. So it's not until like we'll turn, unless you have like free spells, it's not until like turn three or uh, turn four, you can get this going for for four. But then again, it's like you're swinging for four after bolting them for like four times or something like that. It's pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, I think this card's generally pretty good. I think this card is good in like eternal formats too, like EDH, where it lets you filter, which is something that red doesn't have, and this is sort of that for red. It has sort of this prolonged effect where it helps you filter a bunch of a lot of cards, although it also has this weird effect where you may even exile a combo piece because you just can't cast it right now, which kind of sucks, but this is sort of a red card selection that you'd get from red. And I think it's pretty good for that reason. As long as you have enough low CMT spells, generally you'll be able to cast whatever you discard off of this which means you're probably going to discard something that you don't need too much most of the time, but other times it might exile a combo piece, which sucks, but, I mean, this is what you get in red. So, generally, I think this card is pretty decent. You'd probably play it in, like, I want to say maybe mid-range to even high power, just because I think those are the most volatile rogue-like decks you'll encounter most in that sort of area, but where the meta is a little more varied. I don't think it's good in Battlecruiser, just because too much interaction doesn't seem to be too Battlecruiser for me. I could be wrong here. And CH probably doesn't want this, because like I said again, it might be a little too slow and that it doesn't provide enough. Like, being a card selection is fine and all, but we already have cantrips that do that at uh, instant speed, opposed to casting this sorcery speed spell. But it does block against a lot of aggro decks, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and does get eventually get bigger, not that it'll matter. But uh, maybe there's a shelf for it. Anyways, hope you guys like this card review. Tell me what you guys think about this in the card section down below, in the comments section down below. Peace out, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.